was goal number one today. And uh, guys had good energy. They competed. We were able to get a lot of guys in. And it was fun to see, uh, for the most part, took care of the football and offense. I thought the defense played pretty well. We tackled better than I thought we would. We haven't tackled in a couple days, but it was a good end. I mean, how much have you changed or have you changed that much from what you're bringing your system in here and what they ran last year? There's a lot of similarities. I mean, I think the biggest thing that people have talked about is the no huddle style of the offense, but the play selection and things like that are very similar. You'll see the same uh, shell on defense from a 4-3 standpoint, so there's a lot of similarities there. Is that really what the guys are learning right now? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of new language, just, you know, little coaching points here and there. You know, uh, certain things that are emphasized, I'm sure, on both staffs are a little different at times. But, you know, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel here either. They had a good system. They had a good team. And so we tried to keep as many things as we could. Satisfied with the progress over the 15 days you had to work with these yeah. guys? Yeah. I mean, I think that today was a pretty clean performance on both sides of the ball. Even the kickers kicked the ball well. So I thought they came out good. Are they rea reacting to the no huddle? Are they getting yeah. comfortable? But, you know, I think uh, the, the shock of how fast and how good uh, our conditioning needs to be was pretty prevalent early on in spring. But now it's... The guys were in good shape, and you could see the receivers wanted to keep going. They didn't want to come out, whereas earlier in spring, they were dying. You know what I mean? So they're in good shape. They know the, t the pace, the expectation. It's the greatest competition yet uh, to determine who's going to start. Yeah, I think tight end will be a big competition in the fall. Um, you know, with Shepler being down, I also think the tailback position, there's a lot of talent. You guys saw that today, even late in the settle. I thought did a nice job when he was in there. You know, Jazz Hopkins has been real consistent. Akeem flashed there at the end. I know he was mad in the first half. They didn't break some tackles, and he did at the, at the end. You know, and then Wombo and then Bell came in at fullback and did some really nice things. So there's some good competition in the back.